So in this video I'm going to talk about natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are huge, huge, they play a huge role in the innate immune response. Um, so what they are is just non-specific cytotoxic effector cells. And remember they com comprise about 10%, uh, do that in white, um, about 10% of our uh, blood leukocytes. Uh, and they provide the early defense against viruses and cancer cells. So they arise from the same progenitor cells as T cells, but they do not develop exclusively in the thymus. Remember how T cells develop as thymocytes and then become mature thymocytes in the thymus after being in the bone marrow. Natural killer cells develop in the bone marrow. Um, some things that they express, we will draw all of these in red. So here is our natural killer cell. And some things that it might express are um, interleukin-2 receptor beta chains, so IL-2, um, CD-2, and might have some CD-16. But importantly, they do not express T cell receptors, so uh, draw this here. TCR, no. Do not express T-cell receptors. Do not express CD3 and do not express CD8. Okay, none of these in natural killer cells. How do they recognize their targets? It's not MHC restricted, but they do appear to exhibit some sort of immunological uh, memory. So they're, they, they do remember a little bit, but they're not like the adaptive immune response. Um, they're an important source of interferon gamma that increases the microbial uh, activity of macro, microbicidal activity, sorry, of macrophages, and they impact the adaptive immunity by provo promoting T helper cell uh, differentiation um, inhibiting uh, T helper cell 2 development and driving cytotoxic T lymphocyte development. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, they're the first line of defense. So if I label this graph that I've drawn here, on the y-axis we just have the activity. So activity, I'm not even going to write that. But this is like the days after a viral infection, okay? Just so we get a little context. So here is the interferon um, alpha and beta levels. This is your natural killer cell activity, and this is your cytotoxic T lymphocyte activity. So as we can see, the interferon alpha and beta goes up. Right after that, the natural killer cell seems to go up. As this goes down, natural killer cells, uh, so they stay up for a little bit, then they start to go down, and then a really late response from the cytotoxic T lymphocytes. So the natural killer cells do induce the cytotoxic T lymphocyte activity because of their uh, cytotoxic T lymphocyte promoting interferon gamma. So because of IFN gamma from the natural killer cells. Okay. Now, how do they mediate innate immunity to viral infections? So the interferon alpha and beta can activate natural killer cells to increase their lytic activity against virally infected cells. But how do they discriminate between our cells and a virally infected cell or a cancer cell? So right here we can see this dual receptor mechanism. On this side right here we have a ligand. Right here we have class 1 uh, major histocompatibility complex or MHC. This is the inhibitory receptor, okay? So when it is bound to class 1 MHC, there's nothing wrong with the cell, it is going to be inhibited. So you're gonna have this inhibitory signal and then you have a happy cell that's gonna keep on living, it has this great nice white wig on and he's gonna go on with his day. This one, no class one MHC, it's a down-regulated virus infected cell, so a down-regulation of class one MHC. The ligand binds, this receptor is activated, you get a bunch of positive signals and then this cell is not having a good day. The mechanisms of killing so it can be granule dependent or killing by death ligands. So these cytotoxic granules in the cytoplasm are polarized towards the site of contact with the target cell, 
following the triggering of the activated uh, receptor or CD16 receptor leading to exocytosis of granzyme B and perforin. So if you have a cell here and you're going to release all of this granzyme and perforin onto this cell, which will then just start to, bleh, it'll die, right? Or you can kill by death ligands, so by stimulating certain um, death ligands or death receptors by the like fast ligand or the tra uh, trail on uh, uh, natural killer cells triggers apoptosis of the target cell and secretion of tumor necrosis factor by the uh, natural killer cell, right? So tumor necrosis factor will be secreted and um, fast ligand or trail um, will be, will be uh, secreted here by your own cell to say, kill me with tumor necrosis factor. So that is how natural killer cells play a, a very important role in um, different, different, uh, in the innate immune response. Um, what else I wanted to say was that the NK cell mediated cytotoxicity and cytokine synthesis and proliferation is induced by loss of the inhibitory signal coupled with the activating signal, like I set up here, okay? So the inhibitory receptors consist of lectin-like inhibitory receptors and killer cell inhibitory receptors, both of which will deliver an inhibitory signal following interaction with the class 1 MHC molecule. Target cells expressing low levels of MHC are killed, while target cells with normal MHC expression are spared. Okay, um, There are some features of natural killer cell receptors, um, like different proteins and receptors that they have, and what ligands that they recognize, like MHC class 1, um, HLA-B, HLA-C, and different homologs, but I won't get into that for this video.